Now, NBC5 First Warning Weather with meteorologist Matt DiLoretto. The decorations and this weather, Matt, is definitely getting me in the holiday spirit. I know, and hopefully they have good weather for that tree lighting yes. uh, that Saturday. But if there is some snow falling, it'll be kind of like festive, right? The tree lighting right. with the snow falling, so it won't be it'll too be bad. It'll be beautiful either way. Just the rain we don't want, right? Yeah. Right. <laughs> <laughs> well, it certainly isn't going to be raining with the temperatures we've got out there this morning. And in fact, it is snowing in parts of our region. Here's Jay Peak right now, bathed in white in this night shot. It is a bit chilly, as I mentioned, but we still We've got that lake effect snow. You can't see most of this light snow that's uh, hiding behind the radar beam here, but this lake effect that's bringing a lot of heavy snow, some light snow flurries right now moving through portions of Essex County, but I don't think those will be a big deal. It will be a big deal, though, if you're on the Route 11 corridor south of Canton into Russell, Edwards, and Governor. They're still seeing that lake effect snow. Upwards of two feet in parts of St. Lawrence County fell last night, and it's still going, but it is going to continue to move to the north today. We see a little bit of a break as this low pressure system approaches ahead of it. We've got this southwesterly flow and that's why we've got this uh, intense lake effect snow because it's running parallel to the lake. But the flow turns a little bit more southerly as we go throughout the day. But then tomorrow this cold front crosses and the flow turns back to the northwest. That's why we're expecting the snow showers to return after a brief lull in the activity today. The snow showers pick up tomorrow afternoon, watching the end of next week as well for potential another wintry storm around Black Friday. We'll, of course, iron out those details for you. But for now, we're dry mostly in the Champlain Valley and we do have those snow showers moving to the north, as I mentioned, so it should come to an end for most of New York later this afternoon should actually be a decent looking day out here with sunshine mixing with some cloud cover. It will be chilly, of course, with temps in the 30s. But tomorrow morning, once that front approaches, we crank up that lake effect snow machine once again. So we could see another four to eight inches in southern parts of uh, St. Lawrence and Franklin counties. Now, some of these flakes will certainly make their way into the Champlain Valley, but I think this is mainly a terrain driven event. So don't expect a whole lot of accumulation in the valley, maybe a dusting or up to an inch at most. But I think this is mainly, as I said, uh, an event for the mountains. Now it gets very chilly to uh, Sunday evening and into Monday. Temperatures falling through the 20s and into the teens by four o'clock on Sunday and overnight. All of us are in the teens and even some single digits likely in parts of the Northeast Kingdom and the Adirondacks as well. With some snow showers moving to our north on Monday, a couple of those could sneak their way down to the south later in the afternoon. So the point is we got a couple of days of these scattered snow showers, breezy and chilly conditions. It's going to feel just like winter out there. Now, how about snow amounts? Well, we're not really expecting much in the valley, but as you head out toward western New York, four to eight, a solid bet as much as 12 plus just west of Tupper Lake. General two to four out toward Saranac Lake and a dusting to two out toward Redford J and possibly Elizabethtown. Now the northern greens again cashing in with about two to four could be as much as eight inches in the highest peak. Same for the southern green mountains. General two to four with eight plus on those highest peaks such as Mount Snow or Stratton. So here's your weekend planner. We're mostly dry in the valley. Today is the pick of the weekend, I think, just because we'll see the most amount of sun temps in the upper 30s. It's only in the lower 30s tomorrow with those scattered snow showers, and we'll have a little bit less sun to work with. Lots of clouds on Monday, temps in the upper 30s with a few snow showers possible in the afternoon. A brief warm up toward Thanksgiving, but we could be watching some messy weather come Black Friday. <laughs>